Hi, my name's Evie Hatch and I'm here today with JP Oakley to talk about his painting Still Stream at Furnace Wood, which is exhibiting here at the Bankside Gallery in London as part of Jackson's Painting Prize. You have a really interesting story on how you started painting. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, so it was during the pandemic. I sort of had a partner who's quite highly vulnerable, so we were stuck inside for a long time. Um, I just wanted something to do, something to take my mind off of the thing. I found some acrylics in the drawer in the sketch pad. I thought, give it a go, see, see what happens. Um, so I started painting, really enjoyed it. I thought it really helped with mental health as well at that time. And I showed it to a few people and they seemed to like it. So I thought, well, just carry on. Um, and then obviously a lot of time during the pandemic, started creating quite a few paintings, um, started a website, put it on Instagram. Um, it just kind of blossomed in her. I think that's a really interesting point about the the mental health aspect of it. You know, painting as a way of filling time and, and practice and putting hard work into something. And during a really difficult time that a lot of us had, you must have found that, you know, a, a real kind of solace. Did you Did you find it that it was something that you kind of did instinctually, like you kind of picked it up or did you feel like you practiced a lot? Did they come naturally to you, do you think, painting? Yeah, I think it came naturally, actually. It was, um, thinking back, I just sort of picked up pencils, started drawing, and then thought, obviously, start painting. Um, and yeah, it came quite naturally to me. And at the time, I think I wanted that escape. So being obviously stuck inside, not being able to go out. And I think it was a time when we couldn't, we could probably go for a walk once a day. Um, so I started looking back at travel photos and picked a few scenes I'd hate. Uh, I just started painting those and kind of gave me that escape and a bit of solace yeah. that I couldn't travel at that point, but at least I could kind of travel through painting. Yeah, yeah, traveling through your painting. Yeah, that's such a, that, that's an amazing kind of idea, isn't it? So you say that you, that it, it was acrylic that you picked up because you had acrylic already to hand, but what is it about acrylic paint that you like using? I think it's just really easy to use and for someone who's just a beginner really in starting out, um, it's just very easy to use, it dries quickly compared to something like oil, where obviously you have to rework quite a bit and you can add more depth and, and layers, I think, to oil. But I just like the bold colours as well. Um, so I use it sort of quite, put it on fairly thick and get that sort of depth of colour in there. Um, so yeah, I think just the ease of use, but also it kind of matches my style as well, I think. Um, I mean, I've, I've tried experimenting other mediums, but I think acrylic is a one I kind of stick to for the time being. Um, and just, yeah, hopefully get the kind of effects I want. The location of your painting is Furnace Wood, which is a place in East Sussex, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Why is it that you were drawn to this subject? I know you painted it more than once now. Yeah, it's, I, I suppose it's my kind of safe space. Um, so I grew up in East Sussex, um, down a quiet country lane, bit of a dead end. So it's very quiet, no one really knows, uh, no one goes there. Um, I just love going there, it's just really peaceful. Um, you've got sort of the stream bubbling along and uh, all the trees are kind of covered in moss. Um, so that kind of influenced the colours I used as well. And I just like spending time there, whether I'm painting or just actually taking a bit of time out, um, going for a walk. It's just, uh, just a nice sort of peaceful spot. Yeah, it's interesting you say about the colour, I think, because there's a kind of ethereal kind of otherworldly quality to the painting, isn't there? It's almost a painting of two landscapes because you have the real landscape and then you have the reflected landscape yeah. and the colors really kind of play into that how did you how did you choose the color like that distinctive color palette for that painting yeah so i wanted to get something quite magical across about it because i kind of get that feeling when i'm there as i said it's kind of moss colored trees i wanted to kind of ramp that up and really represent that so sort of quite bright greens with a mix of the darker greens but also kind of the pinks coming in there and it used to be a place where there's a blast furnace, so there's a lot of um, kind of iron ore and things in the soil. So that already has a, a slightly rusty red kind of colour. Um, but I want, again, I wanted to kind of ramp up that colour a bit more and um, just kind of evoke sort of all the different colours and also the kind of feeling of being in that place. Yeah, yeah. Which artists do you think have, have inspired your work the most, do you think? I think Hopley, um, definitely. I think he's fantastic. I think... Um, Probably the use of colour, the bold colours kind of comes across maybe in my work a bit. Um, but I like Derek Rivellis. Um, he sort of painted a lot of East Sussex as well. So, yeah. Um, so I love his work. John Nash as well. It's really good. 
Um, and Peter Doig, I think it's really good. I went to an exhibition recently um, and I love his work as well. So I, I, I suppose I'm influenced by different styles as well, which, which kind of helps me to develop. When you were painting this painting, did you work in the studio primarily um, or did you make sketches on site? How, how did it kind of, how, how did it come about? So I'm, I'm one of these people who takes a lot of photographs. So um, I had a lot of photographs of the wood from before, but also when I was putting painting together, I thought, well, I'll take another visit down there um, just to kind of refine the details I wanted to take. So I don't tend to do many sketches. I tend to just go for it. Um, so for whether that's good or bad, um, but it seems to work for me. Um, and then I don't really have a studio. I've got, I started on the kitchen table during the pandemic. Uh, I've since been given an easel, so I put that in the kitchen as well. Um, so yeah, very much kind of uh, working from the home. Um, I'm, I've tried a bit of plein air painting as well, so I think it's something I want to develop more of. Um, but that, that particular painting I painted in my kitchen. So it seems that when you started painting, you know, you, you really, really went for it. What advice do you have for people who are looking to start a, a journey with painting? Just focus on something you really like. Um, give it a go. I mean, don't be afraid of failing. You, you never fail. You're just always learning. So um, I'd also say getting your name out there. So try and get a website and post on social media. And then entering prizes like this, I think this is so accessible. Um, I think it's so easy to enter. Basically, you just send a photo in, um, then you, you find out whether you're selected or not. And I was very lucky to be selected among all the other amazing works here. I think just, just put your name out there. There's no harm in trying, is there? And um, see where it takes you. And what, what's your impression of the show here at Bankside? I think it's brilliant. I think it's such a mix, um, a mix of styles, a uh, mix of materials as well. And I think it, it just kind of shows that vast array of um, different things that people can paint and different subjects as well. So you've got everything from sort of a, a lace um, dress that's just incredible. I can't believe the detail in that um, to something maybe a little bit more naive like my, my link work. But I think it's, it's got a real mix and obviously it's free as well. So I think it's really accessible to people. Um, and the location in Bankside is great. It's by the river near Tate Modern as well. So um, I think it's a, a really good accessible exhibition to come and see.